Hello everyone, I'm very sad to make this announcement, but the Brazilian freedom of press is currently under serious attack, and I'm even sadder to say that it's even being attacked by journalists themselves. On December 9th, 2020, I was taken by the police. I was not arrested. I was taken by the police under the Bolsonaro regime to a police station where I was interrogated for over seven hours without the presence of a lawyer or even without the presence of a police chief. During this time, the inspector, the deputy um, who interrogated me, started making calls. Um, uh, chief, we got the queen here. We got the queen here. I thought that he was referring to the person who supposedly had cloned credit cards because they said that some credit card had been cloned. But no, he was referring to me. So apparently there was some credit card cloned and that was the accusation that was made against me. That's why I had been taken to the police station. The deputy went on and he said, Chief, can we release the note to the press? We have the queen here. Can you release the note to the press? The queen was me. And the first article that was published about the subject of my supposed arrest, which wasn't an arrest because I never received, uh, I was never informed that I was arrested and I didn't even have a lawyer. Uh, this was published on December 11th, 2020. Uh, however, it just so happens that the article that was published was not even written by the journalist who signed it. It was written by this deputy himself, who happens to be part of a militia. Uh, everything points to that. Uh, part the militia that supports the Bolsonaro regime. As you can expect, this article was filled with lies and there was not a minimum work of fact-checking done before it was published. For instance, I wasn't even in Rio de Janeiro state when the crime supposedly occurred. In addition, the journalist or the deputy, I don't know, uh, added pictures of years of work where I have been to Con Film Festival, where I have been um, um, promoting hotels and touristic destinations in Brazil to suggest that I had been uh, scamming all of these places. Afterwards, this journalist got promoted at the place where she works. The only uh, note that the media released about the subject was when the investigation ended and I, therefore, uh, was proclaimed innocent because I was never judged. I was never tried because there was not a single proof of evidence against me. It was all false accusations, so the investigation ended there. Uh, the police had done its damage, the militia had done its damage against my reputation and against my credibility. After the initial note, which was published by Anselmo Góes on O Globo about the end of the investigation, uh, the initial, the first journalist that had published the fake news about me, she started to work so that no other journalists would write or investigate or publish anything on the matter because she knows that anything that's written about the topic will reveal her lack of ethics, the fact that she did not check um, any facts, and the fact that she had been working with the Bolsonaro regime militia. So as you may know, we have been going through several difficult years in Brazil. Difficult not only because of the pandemic, but also because we have been under a fascist regime. And this year in particular will be extremely difficult because the fascist in place, Bolsonaro, he threatens the democratic elections in Brazil. That means that the media and the journalists have a lot of challenges ahead of them. And I'm very, very uh, disappointed to see that some journalists work against the press themselves to prevent the truth from coming up because they uh, do some dirty work and they do not want that to be revealed. That's why I need the international media to turn their attention to what has been going on in Brazil. Just so you know, so you may know on the day of the release of my feature film When the Rooster Crows, which is available um, all over the world under the name uh, The Silent Doorman, distributed by Breaking Glass Pictures, 
I had my life threatened because I tried to defend this girl that was getting beaten up at a bar. The police did not want to do their job and actually defend the girl, so instead they threatened to kill me. And uh, this threat occurred in Leblon, um, the Leblon police station, and actually it also happened at a bar where there were tons of witnesses. And this same deputy or inspector who threatened my life in 2017 on that day of the release of the film may be the guy that actually arrested me in 2020. That's recorded on video and there are many witnesses. The deputy's face that threatened my life uh, is recorded on video, so that's checkable evidence. Uh, that's one of the reasons why this journalist has been making such an effort so the truth does not come up. Because in addition to working in association with the militia in Rio, um, in my case, she has been working in other cases with the uh, chief of police, who was the same as in my case. Um, for instance, in the case of Mateus Ribeiro, this uh, black kid who got accused of stealing a bicycle, and instead of accusing the people who had accused him of racism because he was black, the chief of police, she decided to accuse him of buying stolen merchandise, which the Brazilian Association of Criminal Lawyers found very, very strange. I am not here to ask much, I'm here to ask for something that's very simple. I'm asking to be heard and I'm asking the journalists to actually check the facts because they are very grave. And this journalist that has been uh, stalling all the process and who has been censoring the work of other journalists in Brazil, uh, she is afraid that the truth will come up because uh, there are very, very serious things going on here. Uh, it's even graver that she censors other journalists uh, inside Brazil and everything is silenced. So um, I asked the international media to look at this case with particular attention. Look at the Matheus Ribeiro case in addition to mine, the, the, the kid who got accused of stealing a bicycle in front of shopping Leblon. That's all I ask of you. Do your job. Free press.